It's the place. KTUL TV, Tulsa. From Northeast Oklahoma's news leader, this is News 8 at 5. At the top of our news, the excitement is over now at the Turner Turnpike Gate in West Tulsa. But for a while this afternoon, it was something you had to see to believe. A bizarre confrontation between a high school principal and a New York City rap group tied up traffic this afternoon and left even police wondering what in the world was going on. Police rushed to the scene where there was a report somebody on the bus might have a gun. Troopers ordered the driver and passengers off and searched for weapons. The drama started several miles down the turnpike when the principal from Springfield, Missouri, claimed the bus was running cars off the road. The bus driver denies running anybody off the road, but admits he was driving fast. The speed limit is 65. I'm running 70, 75. Who doesn't do it? Uh, these guys are running about 45. I'm trying to get them out of the way. I'm blowing my horn. Will you please get out of the way? Troopers wrote the bus driver a ticket for reckless driving based on what they said was a citizen's arrest by the Missouri man. Band members claim the Missouri man shouted obscenities and a racial slur. He denies that. As it turns out, there was no gun, only an African cane that somebody apparently mistook for a gun. And the band, named X-Clan, headed on to Ohio, promising never to return to Oklahoma. A search has been underway all day for a missing helicopter instructor. Philip Walker was aboard the Army chopper that crashed in a lake near Lawton while on a night training mission last night. Walker is a retired lieutenant colonel with the Army Reserve. The pilot of the chopper and four other Army Reservists on board were rescued and are in good condition tonight. More now from reporter Dave Ballou. The crash occurred near the middle of the lake underneath these two orange boys. Residents say they heard the helicopter noise, then a large boom. And we knew that there was somebody out in the water because, you know, we could hear them moaning. And they wouldn't answer us. They couldn't hear us at all. But all they were saying was, help, you know, hurry, get us an ambulance here. Cheryl Mahaffey's husband and a neighbor used this two-man fishing boat to rescue five crew members. Two who appeared to be in shock were taken away in an ambulance. The Mahaffey's took care of the other three in their home until more help arrived. Getting them warm was the main thing, and they were really cold. They were really cold. And, but they were all r real calm and real, uh, you know, so thankful, I guess, that they were alive. The helicopter that crashed is similar to this one, a UH-1. It was on an overwater training exercise about 15 miles north of Fort Sill. The crew members belonged to the 374th Air Ambulance Company of Little Rock, Arkansas. They had been at Fort Sill since November 18th, training for Operation Desert Shield. Crew members say they were using night vision goggles for the first time last night. No official cause of the crash has yet been determined. A bizarre death in Okmulgee this morning. The victim, 18-year-old Jeremy Deer. Police say he had been drinking, laid down between some railroad tracks, and died when a freight train ran over him. The engineer on the train says he rounded a curve and saw the man on the tracks, but couldn't stop in time. This burned-out Greyhound bus was stolen, then set on fire overnight in Tulsa. Police say the bus was stolen from a downtown service station where it was being repaired. It was found burning near I-44 in East Tulsa. Whoever stole it and torched it hasn't been caught. Authorities cannot say if the crime is related to the Greyhound bus strike. Overseas, President Bush met with Syrian leader Hafez Assad today in Geneva. Bush is hoping to solidify the Arab coalition against Iraq. Support from the Arabs could help land a United Nations resolution for the backing of force against Saddam Hussein. President Bush says the world is getting tired of Iraq's occupation of Kuwait. Earlier today, the president met with Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak. ABC's Ann Compton has more. Egypt and the United States have stood shoulder to shoulder against Iraq. And President Bush's short visit to Cairo is designed to show that Arab-American alliance is as strong as ever. But President Mubarak confessed this morning the pursuit of peace does not look good. I'm by nature very optimistic, but in this crisis, really, to a certain extent, I'm very pessimistic. As the two presidents sat down to meet, Mubarak explained why he is so gloomy. Because there is no slight move from the other side, from the Iraqis. So what should be done? We'll wait and see. But they should evacuate Kuwait. Kuwait should be liberated under any circumstances. But when do those circumstances demand the use of force? 
Like Mubarak, President Bush is not shy about warning that diplomatic push may come to military shove. President Bush will meet later today with an Arab president who has more often been an adversary, Syria's President Assad. And Compton ABC News. There is word this evening from British and Soviet officials that the UN Security Council will meet next week. The possible use of force against Iraq will be debated. President Bush says he is sure the resolution will be approved. In the meantime, Iraq today began calling up 150,000 reservists. Those who are in their 30s must report for duty. Iraq now has 430,000 troops in Kuwait and southern Iraq. They face 300,000 multinational forces with 200,000 more U.S. soldiers on the way. A brief but intense campaign is underway in Britain as three candidates fight for votes to succeed Margaret Thatcher as Prime Minister. There will be a secret ballot in the House of Commons to pick her successor. If no candidate gets a majority on Tuesday, there will be another ballot November 29th. Those in the running are Foreign Secretary Douglas Hurd, John Major, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, and former Defense Secretary Michael Heseltine. Still to come on News 8, a perplexing problem with plastics. And we'll show you how one small town is keeping its Christmas cash at home when News 8 continues. While you've been thinking about everyone else's Christmas, we've been thinking about yours. And so if you buy or lease any new Oldsmobile 88 Royale by Christmas Eve, Oldsmobile will give you a $750 Dillard's Christmas gift certificate, which means you could give away everything on this tree and keep what's under it. Merry Christmas from the new generation of Olds. Now, only at your local Eastern Oklahoma new generation of Olds dealers. Conrad Farms, naturally. A great new crop of paper shell pecans, cracked fresh daily and shelled if you like. New crop of peanuts, pecans, walnuts, and almonds, and other nuts are in abundance at Conrad Farms. Save big on fancy apples, oranges, and grapefruits by the box. Also enjoy our beautiful spinach and leaf lettuce. Eat quality beef, Conrad. Conrad Farms, naturally. Conrad Farms, naturally. It's time for all the good things of the holidays, like serving family and friends Brahms Genuine All-Natural Eggnog. You'll serve the very best when it's Brahms Original Eggnog or Brahms Light Eggnog. Enjoy all your favorites from Brahms, like the holiday flavors of Brahms Ice Cream. For all your special times this season, enjoy the goodness of Brahms for the holidays. Only at your neighborhood Brahms Ice Cream and Dairy Store. The time to own the four-door sports car, the car that's outselling all the other imports in its class, is now. Because right now, the luxurious comfort, the sophisticated control, and the sheer power of this vehicle are as close as your nearest Nissan dealer, where a special allocation of Maximas is now in stock. But hurry, because at these year-end prices, they could move even faster out of the showroom than they do out on the road. In Berry Hill, elementary school students worked months to collect recyclable plastics. But just as the recycling drive wound up, the kids found they had no place to take the stuff. The one Tulsa company that could have taken the plastic went out of business. But as News 8's Doug Wilson shows us, the kids' disappointment soon changed to delight. On this day, students at Berry Hill Elementary jumped rope to raise money for the Heart Association. The students care about their community. That's why the kids collected pounds and pounds of plastic milk jugs and soda bottles. The children started their recycling drive to help the environment. Despite their efforts, the plastic they collected remains stored in this room. It started with a bang and it ended about that quickly. We had no place to take our plastic and we're at a loss right now. About six weeks ago, the one Tulsa company that could have taken care of Berry Hill's problem went out of business. Well, a new operation has stepped in to fill the void. They say they can take care of Berry Hill's plastic. Kevin Richmond runs Recycle Tulsa. His new company plans to set up containers like these at strategic locations around town. Richmond says there's a glut of recyclable plastic in the Tulsa area. Once he places the containers, folks will be able to drop off plastic, glass, and newspapers at their convenience. So, Berry Hill Elementary, never fear, Recycle Tulsa is here. Well, what I'll do is I'll send over, depending on how much they have, I'll send over a truck and we will pick it up and take it. We were hoping somebody would come through, but we didn't figure it'd be this quickly. 
Richmond's Recycled Tulsa uh, program should get underway in about five weeks. Berry Hill Elementary's plastic ought to be picked up in a matter of days. Doug Wilson, News 8. And Doug says the recycling drive earned the kids about $100. And the day after Thanksgiving traditionally kicks off the Christmas shopping season, and shoppers were out in force at the Promenade Mall today. Now, some merchants say they were careful in not going overboard on their Christmas inventories, but Christmas shoppers in Tulsa say they're ready to spend. That's not the case in all small towns, but as News 8's Cindy Bear shows us tonight, one community is trying to make spending at home a little easier. In a town the size of Cushing, the Christmas season can make or break small businesses. But the Bank of Cushing wants to be Santa Claus. It's offering loans up to $5,000 with an interest rate of only 8%. They call it Christmas cash. There's one catch. The money must be spent in the Cushing area, keeping businesses in business. Five, and that's the intent of the program is, is for us not to make any money, but allow a program where people will shop home. Marianne Etheridge owns a clothing and cosmetic shop. She says it helps out since she competes with the big cities. Because there's still a lot of money that goes to Tulsa and Oklahoma City. But any time that you can form a plan so that it keeps the money in the community, it lets everybody know that the community is attempting to work together. Etheridge says folks use their Christmas cash to buy everything from clothes, furniture, to groceries. This Christmas cash is kind of like a traveler's check, and once they're spent, the bank can keep track of how much each store makes off of them. Last year, $74,000 stayed in the Cushing area that might have otherwise been spent somewhere else. The bank says it's targeting middle and lower income families who need some extra cash for Christmas. So far, $25,000 in loans have been issued. That pleases the merchants because that's $25,000 they have to look forward to. Cindy Bear, News 8. Now, the Bank of Cushing says the Christmas cash can also be spent in the community of Drumright. In another catch, any loan taken out must be paid back by the end of next year. Coming up in weather, Michelle says it's warming up to be a great weekend. Ah, great. And we'll also find out what rock and roll and good food have in common in Tulsa's Best when News 8 continues. Tennis Magazine covers everything you want to know about tennis, from instruction to equipment, pro tennis to resorts. If tennis makes you feel good, a subscription to Tennis Magazine will make you feel great. Subscribe to Tennis Magazine now. Only $9.97 for 12 issues. Call 800-842-4400. We'll include two free booklets on improving your game. Tennis Magazine. Call 800-842-4400 now. Christmas shopping? How about something unique? This Norelco clean air system with three-stage filter removes dust, smoke, and pollen. The Comfort Plus ceramic furnace has no fumes, fuel, or hot coil for safer heat. And the Whirlpool Deep Heat Spa from Polynex has 154 jets to soothe tired muscles. Look for them at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. Los Angeles from Moscow to Miami. Stay dry in the rain with our colossal umbrella. Your gift with any $20 purchase of Aramis. Now available at Dillard's. Friday, Saturday, Monday till 9 p.m. It's the annual consumer warehouse sale at Chalmers Chevrolet Subaru. 27 legacy wagons, all interest-free for up to 60 months. You heard right, 0% financing for a full five years. Payments only $2.29 a month. Or get this, five loaded 91 four-door Subaru Loyales, all $1.99 a month, $1.99 down. But wait, there's more. Just ease, now only $1.49 a month, $1.49 down. Plus, we'll pay your tax and tag. Only till 9 p.m. Monday. Only at Chalmers Chevrolet Subaru in Broken Arrow.
One of the fine things in life is good food, but did you ever wonder how those great cooks got that way? One of Tulsa's best chefs grew up cooking, and he came to Tulsa because of rock and roll. We meet him as we wrap up our series about Tulsa's best. A few tape problems. We hope to have that a little bit later in the show. I think that was another shorter version. Of Just makes you story. hungry seeing the food, right? Yeah, we'll get that story, <laughs> Michelle. We can't complain about anything. Oh, I should with say no problems in the weather. If you ever wanted perfect weather for the holiday season, we had it today and even yesterday. Yeah. A few folks might complain that it wasn't quite cool enough, but certainly nice weather across the area. We got rid of the rain and the thunderstorms on Wednesday. Plenty of weather in store for the rest of the holiday weekend, and it is going to be great. A look outside now at current conditions from the Tulsa International. Airport indicates that temperatures are still well above normal. Temperature of 68 degrees on the east side of town. Riverside Jinx Airport reporting 62 degrees. And Channel 8 Studios temperature same as the east side of town at 68 degrees. On dew points now all in the low to mid 30s. Relative humidity on the east side of town at 29%. Southwest winds now at 6. Pressure is rising. And the high today in Tulsa, 71 degrees. And this morning's low, 41 degrees. Temperatures across the area early this morning were pretty seasonal. As you look around most places, except for here in Tulsa, 41 degrees. And in Oklahoma City at 45 degrees. Most of those cities or our cities have quite a bit of concrete and cement that tend to retain the heat overnight. But elsewhere, temperatures were pretty nice. 39 degrees off to our east this morning early from prior. 36 degrees this morning early from Fayetteville and 38 degrees from Fort Smith. Right now temperatures climbing into the 60s for the most part. A few cooler 50s up north. 59 degrees now from Chanute, Kansas. Also from Joplin. 61 degrees the reading now from Fayetteville and a warm 68 degrees now from McAllister. Satellite picture in review over the last day across most of our area showing the clouds with that cold front on Wednesday pushing well to our south now. We've enjoyed basically a cloud free day for the most part across most of Oklahoma and Kansas. Kansas, a little upper level storm tr system tracking eastward just to our north is providing just a little bit of cloud cover here, but for the most part, no problems whatsoever. The cold front up to our north as well is going to skid off to our east and really not affect our weather at all. In fact, we're not looking for a cold frontal passage until the middle of next week. So for about the next four or five days, we're going to enjoy some pretty nice weather here across our area. Trough of low pressure tomorrow off to our west will cause the south winds to increase to about 10 to 20 miles an hour, so we'll be a bit breezier tomorrow afternoon, but temperatures will certainly be warmer, mainly the 70s and a few cooler 60s up to our north. And on Sunday, that trough of low pressure moving even closer. That could spread a little bit of high to mid-level cloudiness across our area, but temperatures will still remain well above normal. The forecast tonight for Tulsa does call for clear skies and a cool night tonight. The overnight low of 43 degrees with light and variable winds. Tomorrow afternoon, sunny skies and a warmer day. The high around 75 degrees with south to southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour and tomorrow evening continued fair and warm the overnight low of 48 degrees south winds continuing at 10 to 15 miles an hour tell you what guys we are looking for some great weather for the next several days now if you're wanting some fall like weather we're looking for the cold front to come through on wednesday early in the day and the chance of rain ending at that time it looks like temperatures will fall a little bit toward the end of the week and still more like fall but not any cold air anywhere in sight for the next couple well, of weeks. Maybe in time for Christmas. Hopefully. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't think fall's ever going to get here. I know. Thanks. The leaves look fallish. Yes, they do. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Well, we have remedied our technical problems, and tonight we will wrap up our series about Tulsa's Best. If you've ever eaten at Annie's Diner, you've tasted the work of Gerard Campbell. Growing up in England during World War II, his family's cook, Mrs. Bembo, taught him his way around a kitchen. It, it's, it's not haute cuisine, and it's certainly not nouvelle. It's more of, it's more of the sort of bourgeois cooking. The Brahms Cradle Song. was a public relations executive in London when he left in 1973. He had buddies in the rock and roll business. I've been so many places, you 
in my lap and time. When Leon Russell came back to Tulsa in 74, Campbell came too and stayed. Hi, Don. He knows where to buy the best ingredients. I need some uh, bratwurst and knack. And the knack, right. Three packs of sauerkraut, an eight of the knack, and eight, eight of the brat. There's a nice those little flares. It'll give me about four, five of those. He does not measure. The secret of a good soup is a little booze. To really appreciate Campbell's cooking, you have to come to Annie's on Thursday nights. Because on Thursday nights, Annie's turns from a diner into a bistro. Oh, oh, oh. Campbell really doesn't have a favorite food. The only food he doesn't like is grit. But that's okay, he's English. There's only one theme that is constant in it, is that almost everything that I really love is made of 95 to 100% cholesterol. And until he came to Annie's, this European country chef says he didn't know how to make meatloaf. It's like pate, he says, only bigger. By the way, he has had his cholesterol tested, and he says it really isn't much higher than it should be, certainly not high enough to give up bacon. How about that? That's interesting to know, Steve, because, yeah. you know, we've all seen Annie's Diner, had no idea. He's a good cook, too. Yeah, talented. Well, up in sports, OU and Nebraska teetered up in Norman for their annual end-of-the-season showdown. No national championships or Big A titles on the line, but this was the big game of the season for the Sooners. Bob Healy's next with sports. Ever since the 50s, Sonic's been serving the food America grew up on. And though our looks have changed, some things remain the same. Your order is still brought right to your car, hot, fast, because you never wait in line at Sonic. Not even for our bacon cheeseburger special. Burger, cheese, bacon, and a medium soft drink for only $2.49. The faces may have changed, but at Sonic, the smiles remain the same. America's driving Take your Thanksgiving weekend down to the wire at Remington Park for holiday racing and pure thoroughbred excitement. Spend this holiday weekend in fast company at Remington Park. Let your heart race. Last year, Lincoln Town Car was named Motor Trends Car of the Year. And this year, Town Car is even better. This year's model adds a new, more powerful V8 engine to last year's dynamic list of features. Plus, this year's Lincoln Town Car is the quietest luxury car you can own. For high-performance luxury, Lincoln offers the Mark 7. And for sheer sophistication, it's Continental, one of the world's most advanced luxury sedans. Lincoln Town Car, Mark 7, and Continental. Drive Oklahoma proud. See your Oklahoma Lincoln Mercury dealer. Later on tonight, as you head into the weekend, take a few minutes to think about your family's safety. If you and your kids are in the car and there's a drunk driver on the same road, your lives are in danger. If you're lucky, he or she will be arrested. But what happens then? If a driver is drunk, even twice the legal limit, but it's his first offense, does he get more than a slap on the wrist? Watch News 8 at 10 tonight. Well, we were doing our work today with sort of one eye on uh, the football game. The old tube, uh, and there was a lot of scoring in this How one, and it was, was it? all... <laughs> I think we're all a about. little surprised, but I predicted OU would win. Yeah, I, I'll take part of that credit also. And you okay? did, too. Yeah, you but... said OU. <laughs>
this was a one-point game, and who could have figured? I mean, what was going to happen today? But uh, nice way to end the season. Sure. If you've had a little frustration, of course, you know. Usually, when it comes down to OU Nebraska at the end of the season, there's plenty riding on the outcome. Usually, national title, Big Eight title, whatever. But none of that all today. Still, for OU, a season-ending win over Nebraska, while. While may not make their season, well, it goes a long way toward easing some of those frustrations for the Sooners. Mike Ziegenhorn joins us now live from Norman with today's story. Michael, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, Bob. I tell you, you talk about a national championship, and you know, I think this was OU's national championship football game for the Sooners. You know, they can't go to the bowl games because of probation, and Nebraska really, their bowl game this year, and they took it out in the Cornhuskers this afternoon. Let's go ahead and check out what happened here at Memorial Field. Sooners, their seniors pumped up today, ready to go against the Cornhuskers. Mickey Joseph on the second series for Nebraska. He's going to scamper, get around the OU defense, go 13 yards, pick up the first, but popped late out of bounds by Reggie Barnes. He hurt his leg on that play, got a gash on his right knee, lost a whole bunch of blood. He was gone for the game. Then in the second quarter, trailing 3-0, Kale Gundy. Adrian Cooper, what a great catch over the shoulder. He was turned the opposite way. OU's got the lead, 7-3. Sooners, tough defense all day long. Reggie Barnes again with the stick. The Huskers fumble. Frank Blevins picks it up. He also had an interception on the afternoon. Sets up another OU TD. It's 14-3. Then Mike McKinley, the first of his three touchdowns on the afternoon. And the Sooners led it 21-3 at halftime. Second half, after a Mike Gundy fumble, Leotis Flowers is going to carry over. The Huskers cut it 21-10, and things were getting a little bit scary here at Norman, but Kale Gundy and McKinley hook up one more time. McKinley into the end zone, his second touchdown of the day. It was 28-10 at that point. Then more, Mike McKinley, 48 yards. He's going to get past the Nebraska defense, in for the touchdown, the final. OU wins it. 45 to 10 this afternoon. The Sooners look great all the way around, Bob. And I don't know what else to say about uh, today's football game. OU just looked great in the 45 to 10 win. All right, so do you think this eased the frustrations a little bit of uh, three losses this year? Yeah, and you know, the defense has been criticized all season long about, you know, the plays and how they didn't play well, how they let Iowa State win, how they let Texas win, uh, that the string of three straight losses where they lost to Texas, Iowa State, and then Colorado. And today, I think they made up for the entire season defensively. They were picking off passes. They were picking up fumbles, loose balls. They were hitting all day long. Nebraska, they were leading the Big 8 Conference in almost every offensive category coming in today's game. OU really stuffed them, and we'll hear tonight at 6 from some of the Sooner players at, in the locker room, Bob. All right, Zig, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you once again at 6 o'clock some of that post-game Okay. Reaction. All right, more OU Nebraska, as we said, tonight at 6. Plus, hey, basketball, too. Arkansas takes on Arizona in the NIT Finals at Madison Square Garden. And, of course, it's another high school playoff action night. We'll have all that for you as well. Uh, Ranger 8 going to Spyro and uh, Salisaw tonight. Uh, we'll trade you a T-shirt for one of ours. Remember that. So. Oh, that's right. that's right. I saw the pile of T-shirts back there. You got a big one. We got, we got a big one, yeah. Yeah, big one for big people. Oh, <laughs> lots of fun. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Well, coming up on News 8, a grand farewell for Broken Arrow Troops. We'll tell you how you can join in when News 8 continues. Friday, Saturday, Monday till 9 p.m. It's the annual consumer warehouse sale at Chalmers Chevrolet Geo. This weekend, with every single new pickup sold, we'll pay your tax and tag. That's right, Chevy pickups, $179 a month, $179 down. We'll pay your tax and tag. Every remaining 90 model pickup, all priced below actual factory invoice. And we still pay your tax and tag. Or get this. New 91 Corsicas, Berettas, and Geo Storms, your choice. All $219 a month, $219 down. Only till 9 p.m. Monday. Only at Chalmers Chevrolet Geo in Broken Arrow. Estee Lauder Fragrances. For giving, for wearing. Choose from a very special collection, including beautiful, the most romantic fragrance of all. And to make your holiday even more beautiful, choose any Estee Lauder fragrance and you can receive this set of 30 makeup essentials, including an interchangeable compact. This $150 value is yours for only $27.50. This special holiday offer is yours at Dillard's. This is obviously a commercial for a 91 Nissan truck. So it's obvious that we're going to tell you it's a powerful machine, right? And it's obvious its cargo box is big enough to haul all kinds of weird stuff. Hey, it's tough looking. Obviously, we're going to point that out. And see what it's doing there on your TV? That's blatantly obvious. But what is it?
so obvious is we're not going to ask you to buy a Nissan truck. We're simply going to ask you to try a Nissan truck. Because once you've tried it, obviously you'll want to buy it. So try the truck with the most powerful standard engine in its class at your local Nissan dealer. News 8 closed captioning. Made possible in part by Phillips Petroleum Company. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Just because I kissed him didn't mean I wanted to. Stop it, please. No. He forced me. He raped me. Most women aren't raped by strangers. They're raped by men they know. But rape is rape. Call 744-RAPE for help. It pays to be courteous on the road. Tonight on News 8 at 6, the story of a rap group that's traveling bus caught the attention of drivers. When it was all over, the police were out in force at the Turner Turnpike gates. And Fur Free Friday brings out the beast lover in these Tulsans. All this and the latest on the search for a missing crew member of a downed National Guard helicopter. We hope you join us tonight for News 8 at 6. Finally at 5, for those of you interested in seeing the Broken Arrow National Guard unit off tomorrow, you'll need to get up early in the morning. The 145th Medical Clearing Company will be leaving the Broken Arrow Armory promptly at 7 a.m. The convoy will make a short tour of Broken Arrow. Now, it will head out from the armory on College to Maine. There, it will pass a reviewing stand in the parking lot of the First United Methodist Church. On Maine, it will proceed north to Kenosha, then west on Kenosha to Elm, and from Elm, it will head to the Broken Arrow Expressway. The Chamber of Commerce says the public is shown an enormous interest in seeing these soldiers off to Fort Sill. We wish we, them the best. Indeed. Now, ABC. From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Reporting tonight from London, 